Alright guys, a little bit of a different intro this time because we're here with another news update video, which is more a life update more than anything, and you know, what you're going to be seeing to like, you know, as you know, the rest of season four of Fun in the Sun, aka the 2024 Sandy Ridge Redemption, you know, goes, you know, until we get to the end of summer explosion mixed in with the f season finale on August 31st, which is going to be in correlation with Labor Day weekend, so... Therefore, I'm going to start with the life update. So, my sister will be in town on Wednesday, and she's going to be here all the way. She's bringing everybody. Her husband, which is my brother-in-law, her two daughters, which is my two nieces, the oldest one had turned Rusty Wallace two years old, as a few days ago, and less than a week ago, I think it was, and my newborn niece, who just, you know, entered this world. And, of course, the dogs are coming, and don't worry. Thing is, I've never wanted anything to do with those dogs, considering... They live out of state and I never see them. That's why I'm I'm going to be terrified of them every time, no matter what, because I'm just not going to get used to them. Because I remember when I took that last YouTube break, which was a mini break and Memorial Day weekend 2021, we when she lived in South Carolina, I was terrified shitless where I was hiding in the guest room and didn't want to come out. So... You know what we did? We took our ass out of there the very next day, cause, but not because we didn't want to see her and, and, you know, the family she started, but because my mom didn't want me to be afraid. I'd be afraid all the time. So, And I wouldn't have gone if my dad decided he didn't want to keep me like he did the year before during the COVID year, which was during Father's Day week and the first time my mom and grandparents took a trip down there when, you know, my dad lived in the Appleseed house. So... Therefore, he took me on Father's Day weekend, and I know I don't like his animals either, but his animals are the lesser of two evils, even though I fucking hate them too, because they make too much fucking noise, and now that he has three animals, I, I have not gone to his house since then because of it, to like, you know, stay, spend the night or, or a weekend with them, because I just don't like animals, I've been trying, that's why I've been avoiding his house, and... I just don't want part of it. I love him, and I want to go start going back to his house again as much as the next guy. But as long as those three animals are there, then I have, there's, you can count my ass out. So, therefore, um, but 2021, he couldn't take me for whatever reason. I don't fucking remember. It was during the vaccine year, and we don't, I, don't, I, who, I can't fucking remember part of that year anymore like I did before. I mean, at one point, it was fresh on my mind. Like, in 2022, it was first Sherman. In 2023, it was still a little bit fresh. But we've gotten so deep into 2024 that half that vaccine season has been, yo, know, kind of, like, stale in my mind. A little bit is still fresh. Like, the good stuff we recorded, but the stuff I did off camera, only a few, few of it I can remember. But, yeah, she'll be here Wednesday, and she's staying until July 31st. The, the very last day of, of July. Last full month. Oh, yeah, the, the, the last day of the second full month of season four of, of Fun in the Sun, aka the 2024 Sandy Ridge Redemption. And that's going to be like a full week, of like a full week of the two week Olympic break in NASCAR. And during the time that she is here, and excuse me, during the time that she is here, and even after she leaves, when we spend the next full week with no NASCAR, you know, after she leaves, we're going to take time to catch up on some YouTube content that. Should have been out there sooner, and I apologize for that. I know you guys have been looking forward to seeing some of it, but a lot of my friends have been going on vacation and leaving me by myself. But a lot of them are starting to come back now, little by little. So we will be catching up to up on on this on the content, and we will be catching up on our TikTok fix in terms of the videos my friends and I will make. So hang in there and bear with me. It's all going to come together before you know it, and we're going to be back on track by the time it's time to go to the Corn Fest and watch the Chevrolet Monte Carlo 400 at Richmond. So, therefore, we're going to be fine. Don't you worry. I will make sure that this the second half of the summer doesn't end up being a repeat of all, what all of last summer was. So, therefore, now the other update I wanted to tell you, my grandmother's not doing very well still. I mean, she's out of the hospital, but... It's not all perfect either, so keep keep your prayers coming for my grandmother, my mom's mom, Virginia Plaza, and hope that she gets there some come kind of come kind of you know at least seventy five percent. Like, it's not going to be hundred percent like it was fifteen, twenty, twenty five years ago. No, as long as she can get to like you know, let's see, how do I describe this? Um, you know, at least a. a 
somewhat close to perfect health. I mean, not, not perfect health, but somewhat perfect. Like, I would say 75%, you know, the point where, you know, she's, like, actually being herself, then that's all I asked for. That's all I asked for. So, therefore, I just wanted to let you guys know what's going on right there, and... Hopefully, we'll, you'll get to see my friends in Sandy Ridge again but then when we make our trip back outside tomorrow. Because today, there was no outdoor activities, whether I went... Cause I, did, I, I didn't go to work today because I just... My mindset wasn't there, and I just didn't feel like going in here last night. I wasn't feeling it. But tomorrow, I got the... Tonight, I got the motivation back. And so, therefore, it was... I'll get to that part in a minute, but... Today, my grandmother and my my family and Joe, my sister's godmother, like you know, um, used like used like you know, really, I really came in handy today as to why I and where me staying home and not going to work because they would have been empty-handed without me. They would have been empty-handed without me, and because I feel it went to work today, because it was just a rough day all around in this house. I mean, I'm not going to say exactly what happened. I will mention one thing, though. This shit is fucking funny. So my sister's godmother, Tish, you know, was you know, came to help out today, which a lot of our, our extended family on my mom's side has been coming out, coming out to help us along the way, because we can't all do it by ourselves, the four of us. So therefore, so when my mom was at work and I was, you know, staying back at home helping Everybody, you know, my grandparents and my, like, and Titi Tish, my sister's godmother. I don't know if she's my aunt or my cousin, something like I'll have to clarify that in a future video where after I uh, ask someone off camera. But, um, we're going to get to the work shit a little later. We're going to get to the work shit a little later because there's something important I like to address. It's going to be, you're going to be seeing tomorrow through Thursday. So, anyway, and then what, what my status for Friday is going to be. So, um... The, on, the, on my grandparents' TV in the living room, for some reason, they always struggle with that damn thing. I mean, and I get it because it's their age and everything, but anybody can struggle with the damn TV, right? And no matter the age. But, I mean, they have come, come from a generation that didn't have this kind of, you know, tech-savvy, tech, uh, modern, you know, technology stuff that us young millennials and some of the younger generation that, you know, take after us, you know, know all this stuff about, whether it be... TVs, cable boxes, hell, even VCRs, um, um, cell phones, you know, iPhones, iPads, you know, all that other bullshit that we grew up with, that the younger generation is growing up with now, that, you know, is replacing the stuff that my generation grew up with, that, you know, the younger generation sadly had to miss out on how good uh, my generation had when we were their age, well... That they, they were like, dude, there was a timer about going into like, you know, power save mode, like shut itself off. We were scrambling, trying to get, trying to get it, um, trying to find the remote so we could stop it from like turning off on its own or lose, like cutting off its cable box by itself. And we couldn't find that son of a bitch. I mean, having to get, I think it's seven seconds, like too late. We're not going to find it. We didn't know that at the time it took us a long ass time to like find it. We went on a wild goose chase looking for that remote without leaving the room. It was a wild goose chase without leaving the room and running around the whole house. We looked all over the front of the house. We looked in between the chairs. We looked under the chairs, like in the cushions in between the chairs, what I should say. We looked in, obviously the remotes are not going to fit in purses, but like, you know, my grandfather checked that anyway, even though I had to tell him five, six times that it's not in there because realistically a remote wouldn't fit, fit in a remote as big as that wouldn't fit in a little purse like my grandmother had. I know I didn't, I said, I went to look by the TV, but I was supposed to like, Mark, don't look back there because it's unrealistic or it takes on honky tonk shit. Like, yo, know, as what if it's in the words of what if for something like that, for the remote to end up in a place like there. I knew, I knew, and then there's no way in hell it was behind the chair, my grandfather's chair, that I think spins because it would have taken some honky tonk shit to get it back there. There was a place like there. I mean, we looked in the bathroom, the, on the main floor, nothing was in there. And today's Alex Trebek's birthday, the host to, Je late great host of Jeopardy. Ron Benning, 84 years old. And I think he told my sister's godmother, like something that we didn't know. To look in the drawer that next to my grandfather's chair because, you know, he probably knew about it before we did. And so he told her to look in there without telling her that it's actually in there. He, She looked in there and guess what? We found it. It's like, thank you, Lord Jesus. It's, 
talk about a wild goose chase without walking around all over the place or leaving one singular like Robbie Gordon room. It's a wild, you, wild goose chase is only frustrating if you choose to make it frustrating. I remember last November, I was looking for my phone charger. I was looking all over for it, but I didn't get frustrated. I was laughing my ass off while commentating through it. Turns out my, my dumb ass left it on the chair that morning when getting ready for work. And back when I used to lay on the couch downstairs to get ready, now I lay up here to get ready, get some a little bit of extra Z's in so I'm not as tired in the morning, so I'm not sleeping the day away, which is something I don't want to do. I have a strategy to that even when I'm there, but... I know I have to watch what I say when it comes to shit I do at work. I know maybe some some of my folks at work are probably going to be watching my watch my videos and including the news updates. But you know, <laughs> that's a pro example. Wild goose chase actually making it fun and choosing not to make it frustrating. So therefore, that was an adventure today. So therefore. I did some projects. I hung up um something up for my work hall of fame. I like you know. I'll get to that part last. I'll say it after last. So that Emma Bachman picture that, you know, her parents, Todd and Mama Danielle gave me. I, um, where did I hang it up? I hung it up in my, in my, in my little mini office. So when, the, okay, when the man cave gets cleaned out, that's going to be my studio. And so the, where I watch my NASCAR racing and my Spurs games and until last spring, summer, all my shows, that's my office. At one point, there's an office studio meshed together, but I figured I wanted to separate both things. So, therefore, um, I hung up my Emma Bachman picture from her grad party. If you want to go look at that video, link is in the description. I hung it up like in the, where the Ricky Martin picture is, the Ricky Martin poster is from when I went to his concert in like October, I think it was so October of 2015. Yeah, I know it was October, the first the first year I moved here, the beginning of the Live and Love Vida Lab Rad season, 2015-16. Because you know how I know? That was around the time I started at Murray Ridge, way before COVID, during the early part of OG Sandy Ridge slash pre-pandemic. And two, it was the weekend of the UAW GM Quality 500 at Charlotte Motor Speedway. I was going to watch that race Saturday night and then leave for the Ricky concert the next day. But because of the stoop mother nature being a bitch, like she always has been, even before modern day Sandy Ridge, um, this modern day life, um, we ha I had to miss the race because I had to be focused. I was committed to go to Ricky. So I could have had the best of both worlds, but because of mother nature, stupid ass, we can't have nice things, even in 2015. But that's beside the point. So therefore, I cleaned my dresser. I made my floor spotless so my mom bought me a new blind so that way we can replace that my my sister my her husband says my brother-in-law and her are gonna come into my room while i'm at work whenever she come whenever she comes in to help replace that thingamajig and before you know it that i know you can't see from here but behind this old night squad pup like you know little thingamajig that's going to look a hell of a lot different come when we start the Adventures in Autumn and Winter Wonderland season productions because we're going to have a Richard Shoulders Racing Dale Earnhardt Incorporated show. There's going to be a little bit of game show stuff, you know, go on there, the Wheel of Fortune and Jeopardy stuff that's going to be there, the Funko Pops of Say Jack White and Older Trebek that wants to be a millionaire video game. And that RCRD I shelf is also going to contain a little bit of a memorial besides the greatest racing story of RCR and DI led, you know, Park, Earnhardt Jr., Earnhardt Sr., Waltrip, and Harvick. But I think there's going to be a, sec a memorial section above or below that, whichever one I decide to choose. I might do above for chronological purposes since it's 2000. I'm going to do a section where I honor Adam Petty, Kenny Irwin Jr., and Tony Roper. So I'm going to do it like that too. So. I'll figure it out one way or another. I already sent my mom the Kenny Irwin diecast from 2000, like to you know, add to that set. And I already have the Adam Petty diecast so I bought at the Jamie's last season. And I sent my dad a note, Gregson diecast from the rookie season from hell. Even though I hate Wendy's and Gregson had a shit rookie season. I'm still buying that diecast because it looks cool as hell. That's going to be in my man cave. And then the man cave next, and like in the, like, and like, Next to the shelf that has my favorite driver's pass for the new diecast. Whatever it is to fit in there, I'm going to fill, fill a white, you know, shelf that my mom built for the pantry. That's going to go next to the, the a big shelf, whatever doesn't fit there. And 
We're going to clean that man cave. It's going to be a YouTube studio for me. We're going to put more NASCAR decorations up. Me and my grandfather are going to do a video where we hang up some Earnhardt pictures. You know, the 2001 Bud Shootout, you know, Earnhardt Sr. and Earnhardt Jr. frame that Steve Lucky gave me, you know, his buddy from San Lenny years ago in Sanders, the late, early 2000s, gave me as a gift, like, months after Earnhardt Sr. was killed in the 500. And an Intimidator picture with Earnhardt and his classic good open face black Goodwin showman, the black goggles. We're going to hang that up somehow, some way. So... Therefore, but that man cave is going to get cleaned up. My mom claimed the room looks spotless. The house looks spotless. My bedroom, my 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 um, dresser looks spotless. Now all we need to do is replace my blinds and um, put that RCRDI shelf up. The blinds will be, the new blinds will be up in, um, while I'm at work. While I'm at work and my sister and my brother-in-law and my mom are going to work on it. There, I give them full-on permission to enter my room. That way they can get that done so I don't have to look at that broken-ass blind. And... Sooner than later, hopefully, the man kid will be cleared out to make an office studio in there. We'll make a studio in there, a usual studio in there for me. And come with, when it gets cold out where I can't go outside for the rest of the season until next season, season four spring is in the air, the RCRDI shelf will be up before you know it. And I have a, I might do a diecast haul. I might start doing some haul videos really, really soon. So I hope you're looking forward to that. And the first one I want to do is a diecast haul. So be on the lookout for that. So I was wanted to update you on what's going on and what the content you might be seeing. You will be seeing too. We also will. Keywords might and will. will be seeing and what's been going on in my life. And um, um, there was another thing we were going to... I was, was a vippy group of videos I was going to do before I got to the good... Oh, yeah. Well, we put that RCRDI shelf up in like... When, you know, when Adventures on Winter Wonderland is here, that's going to be recorded for a YouTube video as well with my mom. So I just wanted to clear that up. But now the elephant of the room, the return of the ViaQuest Summer Camp for 2024. So as you guys know, if you want to go look at the whole ViaQuest Summer Camp 2023 trilogy of, of the three episodes we did there, three-day episodes, links in the description. Today... I'm glad I took the day off and skipped today because there's I gave you guys more time to prepare for the for it with this video. Tuesday, Wednesday, it's gonna be three days again. It's gonna be three days again because if I were to give you four days starting today, I would have blindsided you like where the fuck did this shit come from? Although some of you have been if you've been following along closely. You sure you been watch last year's? You hopefully you remember me saying that hopefully next year for season four, Fun in the Sun will be better because keep in mind last year sucked ass because we were gonna do what you know we we initially planned this year, but idiots wanted to change it to keep it local and that's why it sucked because it wasn't like what we thought it would be and they just changed it last minute. So I know I wasn't there today, but hopefully. They didn't do that bullshit. They did that same bullshit this year too, and you know, stuck with the original plan to actually make it fun like it was supposed to. Because look at all the fun we missed out on last year with the other locations with Brooklyn and Heights and Parma. We missed out on the collaboration of the, the summer collaboration of the century, and hopefully this year when we go back tomorrow to start day one, day up one, episode one of three, we'll be in for a treat. I'm not holding my breath, but you just. You just never know what's going to happen next. So there will be another batch of some ViaQuest Summer Camp videos coming tomorrow. They'll be coming tomorrow. And um, day one will be tomorrow. Day two will be Wednesday. Day three will be Thursday. Day, you know, the basketball thing. That's, I'm sitting out that day. I was going to play it, but I just, I'm backing out because you know why? You know, I didn't play last year in the, in the, in the, in, in the, in the summer version, in the summer version, because I went to the Georgia Kotschak concert at Seven Hill Home Day, so Hills Home Day, so look at that too, link in the description. This year, I, I just want to conserve my health, that way, you know, I don't risk it, I, I end up in the hospital myself, you know, because I've gotten sick from heat, heat exhaustion two or three times this year, it's only, it's only going to be, it's, your body can only take so much of that, the same shit happening to it so many times before something very serious or deadly happens to you. And as young as I am, but also getting up there in age, I don't want to take any risk myself to like, you know, damage myself any further. You know what I'm saying? So therefore, to those of you who are on the basketball team and are probably, probably watching this, you stumbled across it by accident. I'm sorry. I'm sorry in advance. I just. I'm just choosing the bat. I'm just choosing to sit out this one on Friday. But I will be telling you know Christy and Eddie and Tasia throughout 
this three day week I'm gonna be there tomorrow, Wednesday and Thursday, that I won't be there Friday because you know I just want to stay healthy. And, uh, well. And also, I don't want to risk, you know, passing out in the heat because my endurance sucks. And, you know, I'll be huffing and puffing. And then if I just keep p p pushing my luck and then I'm going to start pass, I'm going to pass out. So I've never participated in an outdoor Viaquest basketball game. And I don't think I ever will because it's just, you know, maybe if I was still 25 years old or whatever. OK, fine. But I'm not getting any younger either. I'm going to be 31 next year. So Therefore, it's best that, you know, I conserve my health, conserve my energy. And maybe since I'm going to be sitting out Friday, my sister will have time to fill it will to bake the sugar, Pillsbury sugar cookies. And we can eat, we can tear that shit up like Terry Labonte and eat, drink our lactate milk because I can, I can eat, you know, graham crackers without milk from time to time. But the one, two things I will never eat without milk are Pillsbury sugar cookies and Krispy Kreme donuts. So I just want to let you guys know what in the world is going on. And the Sandy Ridge content is hopefully will not only go, well, for, like, obviously there's been some Sandy Ridge content from time to time, but I promise you it'll, it'll like, you know, the, 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 consistency, the consistency of the Sandy Ridge content will pick back up, I promise. And I know there hasn't been any for a little bit, but it's going to come back stronger and better than ever. Like on a, on a more consistent basis, and all my friends that have been on vacation, the what not the ones that went on vacation in the beginning, in the beginning part. This is the middle part of summer, so they will be coming back soon. And but there's going to be plenty more to like, start the third part of summer, the third and final part, where there's going to be more people going on vacation. So if you haven't seen in much Sandy Ridge content on the channel, and what has been a much better summer this year than last summer, then you'll you exact you at least you'll you know why. So I just wanted to come out and you know address the you know address all that stuff you know tell you what's been going on in my life the upcoming channel content you're going to be seeing um, there's going to be a Richmond preview for the Chevrolet Monte Carlo 400 discussing the tire option and we're shooting for a Corn Fest Friday night Corn Fest the second weekend of, of August uh, we are, which is the Monte Carlo 400 and then you know I think. Right after my sister leaves, we're going to have the biggest redemption story of the summer. We're going to try the Kensington Tallman, Stephanie Shutstack, Albert Cy, Chris Peterson birthday tribute again. as redemption from that fuck up in 2021. But this time we had Destiny Hernandez from the big leap to the mix. So I figured, you know, we, we, two, three, we waited two years to like, you know, yo, 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 re, yo, yo recharge ourselves from that mishap so now that's been three years i figured it would be the perfect perfect time to actually try that birthday tribute again to make sure it goes according to plan this time so i will see you all tomorrow for when we start the first of three episodes of the via quest you know summer camp batch of batch of videos so hopefully it's going to be a hell of a lot of fun hell of a lot oh no hell of a lot of more fun than last year hell of a lot better than last year so have a good night tonight and a better day tomorrow. Take care, everyone. Good night. I will see you all for that next video, which is going to be tomorrow. And once again, happy Matt Kenseth's 17th birthday to my number one boy best friend, Caden Clapham, the birthday twin of the late great host of Jeopardy, who would have turned Norm Benning 84 years old today. Alex Trebek, we love you, Alex. This is Jeopardy. Miss you, legend. See you later, everyone. Locally owned and operated, we are Smooth Jazz, 107.3, The Wave, WNWV, Illyria, Cleveland.